Hello everyone, welcome back to Two Minute Tips. Let's get started. Whether you're testing two different logos or researching which web design respondents prefer, A-B testing is likely your best research format option. A-B testing is a research method where two versions of something are compared to see which one performs better. While the traditional form of A-B testing is typically used between two conditions, the method we're using today can be used with as many conditions as necessary. Let's begin by heading over to our survey builder and creating four different blocks. This includes our introduction block, conditions one and two, and a follow-up questions block. Today we want to test two different logos to see which one performs better. Let's add a text graphic question to our introduction block that includes some instructions for our respondents. After doing that, we can add the questions to each of our condition blocks. In this case, we'll be asking the respondent to rate how much they like the logo from one through five. Now we can add the rest of our questions to the follow-up questions block to get some more information. After doing so, let's head over to the survey flow. We will want to create two different groups that show the different conditions that we have. We also want to include embedded data in each of these groups to show which condition the respondent had. Let's start by clicking add below in the intro block and choosing add group twice. Now let's drag and drop the different conditions into the groups by using the move text and renaming each group to the corresponding condition name. We also need to add a new embedded data element into each group that lets us know which logo they viewed. Now that we have our groups and the embedded data made, let's add a randomizer underneath the intro block and drag and drop these groups underneath it. Let's set the randomly presented elements number to one since we only want one logo displayed and enable the evenly presented elements option. All that's left to do is click apply and publish the survey and we'll have a survey ready to do some A-B testing with these two logos. As a final walkthrough here, all respondents will be shown the introduction block then they'll be randomly displayed either the old or new logo. And finally, they'll end the survey with the follow-up questions block. And that's it. Thank you for learning how to add A-B testing to your Qualtrics survey with me today. Please remember to subscribe to the two minute tip category on the XM community so you never miss a video. And I hope to see you around the XM community.